how to add a passenger on spirit airlines hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can add a passenger on spirit airlines now you can always add passengers on spirit airlines as many as two three or four and you can add it on behalf of someone but how can you go about this the first thing to do of course is to ensure that you have a spirit airlines account created already once you um, created a spirit airlines account just go ahead and log in either on your pc or on your application once you're logged in you'll be brought to the spirit airlines home page as you can see on my screen and then once you're on this page the next thing for you to do is to proceed to booking your flight this is because it's only when you're booking your flight that you can add passengers now you can see that underneath um, the spirit logo you can see different options right such as bundle and save you can see hotel you can see car you can see cruise ensure you are on the flight page so once you're on the flight page yeah you can now um um select where you are going to where you are, um heading from and your return and departure date and then before that at the top part of the front box you can see the trip we can select here and then next to it you'll see adults or young now this is for this is for the passengers um option so yeah you can decide to add um more than one passenger you can add as much as two or three or four all right and then you can also decide to add children between the age ages of zero and seven at the time of travel so you can add um the age and then for you to be able to add child you can see that there is a requirement which is to input the child date of birth for each of well, the number of children that you've added if it's two you have to input both of the um date of birth and they click on save and then you can now proceed to search for flights pay um go ahead pay verify and check in so it's that simple okay this is how we can add passengers on spirit airlines i hope this tutorial has been helpful thanks for watching and have a nice day